All right, tonight we got a battery from Cycling Bat. Let's open it up. It's like we get a couple different uh, lengths of M8 volts. Now this is supposed to be a mini battery. It does look pretty small. Well, look at that guy, it's pretty cute. It's kind of like a group 24, but I believe it's even smaller. So this is a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate. It says max continuous charge is 120 amps. Max continuous discharge is 120 amps. In a peak of 300 amps for five seconds. Wow, all uh, right, that's pretty neat. Uh, so since it has low and high temperature protection and like most batteries it says you can do four in series and four in parallel and it says they have top nip customer service so let's look at this compared to a group 24 and uh yeah it's smaller so this is the group 24 and then this is the cycling bat mini battery it's much smaller that's awesome. You know, these companies are really paying attention to what we're asking for. You know, we don't want all that empty space inside of our battery case. Why do we want it to take up so much room when it doesn't have to? So that's really awesome. I'm glad to see this. All right, so let's go ahead and get a weight on this battery. Oh, wow, look at that. 20.2 pounds. All right, so let's get this guy charged up. All right, so the cycle bat is all charged up. And we have the shunt hooked up, so let's do a discharge test. All right, so we're pulling 55 amps, using the heater as a load. We'll be back when it's complete. All right, so we're down to 3%, 97.3 amp hours. And it is cold out here. And that's why I've got the heater facing the battery. It's cold enough to where it's not really heating the battery up that much. You know, we're only at like 57. So it's just, <laughs> Keeping it somewhat maintained. It's definitely not the ideal uh, temperature. So hopefully we will pass 30, 35 outside. We're actually getting really close to where the inverter will start complaining. Yeah. It's already complaining. I'm gonna let it keep on going just because it's cold outside. We're almost there, 99.5 right now. I think we're gonna make it. Here we come. There we go, 100 amp hours. Yeah, I think this, there we go. Inverter shut off. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty certain this thing would have gone a little bit over 100 amp hours. It's just cold outside. It's not the most ideal temperature. All right, guys, so check this out. So this is the, you know, the original mini batteries that we're all used to. Redodo makes one, Lee Time makes one, Power Queen makes one. I think that's it. And now the cycling bat, of course, it's in a different case, but it's even smaller. Look at this. It's shorter by, I don't know, like a half an inch. It's almost the same width. It's just ever so slightly wider. And then 
it's shorter by nearly a whole inch on this dimension. <laughs> so overall, it's it's smaller. It's even smaller than the previous smallest 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. That's awesome. All right, so I got the lid broke loose. Let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. There we go. Oh, <laughs> we got prismatic cells. Wow. So we got an even smaller mini battery and it's prismatic cells instead of the pouch cells. So uh, for you guys that were not excited about having pouch cells, but like the mini aspect of the mini batteries, well, maybe this one is for you. And I do see a thermal probe connected to this BMS. So this probably does have low temperature protection. It has a cycling bat branded BMS label. Looks like I can see 150 amp. Does say temp protection function on it. I wonder if we can get these cells out, given how, wow, it's really tight in there. All right, guys, so I couldn't get the cells out of the battery and I didn't want to tear it up, but I did want to see if the low temperature protection works. So I have shoved it in to this freezer <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to let it sit in here for, I don't know, a long time and see if we can just freeze this battery up and get it to not take a charge. All right, guys, so I pretty much let this battery set in here all day. I think it's been about 12 hours and we are at zero degrees Fahrenheit on this side here. Um, let's open it up and see how cold it is in there. Oh, whoa. I'm actually showing negative six on the sidewall, but the battery's, yeah, the battery's setting at zero. Yeah, I think the compressor just came on, so maybe that's why it's colder there. But on the battery again, yeah, we're at zero, 0 0.2. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can charge. Let's hook the clips up to the battery. All right, we got the terminal clips on. Let's plug the charger in. Go. Nothing yet. Yeah, I think this would have came on by now. So yeah, I don't think it's letting us charge. That's good. That's exactly what we want. So we do definitely have some low temperature protection here for sure. But that's at zero degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty cold. So what I think what I want to do is I want to raise the temperature here. Let's do 16 Fahrenheit. And then uh, we'll just let that set overnight and I'll check it in the morning and see if the temperature has gone up in here. And then we'll check it again and see if it'll charge at 16 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so it's the next day and we are showing 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's take a look on the inside and see what it reads. Uh, we're showing about 15 on the battery. Let's connect it. And see if it'll charge. All right, charger's plugged in. And again, not allowing it to charge, which is good. You can see there's zero amps going. 
So very good. Uh, so let's raise it up to, I don't know, 28 or something. All right, it's been quite some time here. It's saying 19 right here. I think it's a little warmer than that inside. But uh, let's go ahead and check. Yeah. yeah, it's right at 25. So let's hook it up. I don't think it's going to charge. Nah, it's not going to charge. Yeah, that's good. I think that's good enough for me, guys. <laughs> It seems like the low temperature protection certainly does work. I think I'm actually gonna let this battery thaw out now. Check it out, I forgot that I had this SunFun Kits heated battery bag. So it has a little button on the side right there and a heating pad inside. So I've had the battery in here for uh, probably a couple of hours. Let's see if he's defrosted. I'll check it out, we're at 65, heck yeah. And the little heating elements down there at the bottom, it's right at about 77. So let's try to give it a charge and see if we're back in business. Yeah, there we go. 29 amps. All right. <laughs> so we thawed it out and we are back to charging. Awesome, guys. I think that's going to be it for the video. Let me know what you think about the battery. I'll leave links in the description and I'll catch you on the next one.